have to, uh, like, occasionally read into, like, our backstory. Because I don't full know what's happening out here in this world. But I think we can get the general gist. You've got, like, a uh, very overzealous... I reckon didn't know you were a clone. <laughs> no, just eight more shifts and they would have paid me a ticket to Eden 12. Eden 12, huh? That's one ridiculous name. They have lakes there? <laughs> cool. I dig lakes. When I was a kid, my old man used to take me kayaking almost every day. That was on Byron 4, just before the whole place went to hell. What's kayaking? You serious? <laughs> Scrap, we've got a visitor. Oh Leave shit. To me. Maybe a good time to pop that gift bag and try one of your new devices. In the meantime, I'll lock the front door, just in case. No. Damage. There are two basic types of damage, kinetic and energy damage. While shields are solely affected by energy damage, armor can only be brought down with kinetic damage. Once the shield is down and the armor destroyed, both damage types will decimate the hull. Usually a we weapon deals both types of damage, but depending on which value is higher, you'll want to use different weapons in different situations. Yeah, I figured. Boof! Disabled! Now we have to hit them with the one-two punch. There, alone again. He must have detected us when we reactivated the hangar. So about kayaking. Kayaking. Best thing ever. Say, they never told us soldier grunts how you clones worked. But I heard they gave you guys fake memory fragments to keep you motivated while fighting. If kayaking isn't in there, someone clearly didn't do their job. <laughs> My memories are fragmented, but not fake. They're a mix of random experiences taken from my clone father's life and every incarnation that came before me. All passed on from clone to clone, until they ended up with me. Wow. Holy! So you're some kind of body-hopping immortal soul. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well. Not anymore. The cycle was broken. So this time, when I die, I'm done. You know what I would do if I were you? No. What? Not croak before I've been kayaking. <laughs> <laughs> I really mean it. If I ever get the chance, I will. I'll do my darndest to survive. Oh, more? More outlaws. Make sure that the area is clear before you head back. Don't want word of our activities here to get around. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll gather these first before I go after those uh, outlaws. If they're not heading for me directly, then I'll leave them be. For a short duration. I don't really like that time pauses. Oh, there's the cooling unit. That uh, time pauses if I access an inventory and we're having a conversation with a character. It's just so abrupt. Well, they're chilling out there four kilometers away. Ah. Oh, I'm a miner now. All right. Space miner. Asteroid miner. A resource gatherer. All right, let's take out these outlaws. I'll fly hey, right into the midst. Right. We've got new neighbors. <laughs> let's give them the tour. Oh, what the fuck? Track? There's quite a lot of traffic around here. Trying to hit me with a tractor? Yeah, something must have happened to our cloaking system. Any luck with those resources yet? I'm still on it. Excellent. Thankfully, I didn't take any, like, damage when I crashed straight into one of the ships at max speed. so we can give that reactor a whirl. I want to get spare bits, you know, f for, like, my ship. Spare bits. The 
These bullets are an effective tool for mining out resources. Goodness gracious. Bulletproof container out. Okay, we got some iron and a cargo unit. Optimizes storage limitations for more efficient use of available space. Needed for dismantling of equipment. Plus four cargo slots. Okay, sure. It's a good thing I've got a shield. I would probably take a lot of hull damage otherwise. So I guess I can just equip this. Normal demand in current system. Oh, cool. So there's like a little bit of a, an economy system to worry about. Crafting. A cargo unit enables you to dismantle equipment. Dismantling equipment will give you parts that can be used to craft or modify an item. You also progress in unlocking the blueprint for the respective piece of equipment. To craft an item, select craft on an empty cargo slot. To modify an existing item, select modify. Okay. So if I want to like, say, make a consumable, I can make... Rock. I can equip these nanobots. Uh, I mean, sure, why not? Change. I want to see the modification menu. This is just... Showing the weapons I currently have available. Crafting. Uh, okay. I guess I just don't have anything to craft at the moment or something. Like I have re some resources, but I don't think I have like That's all right. I'm sure we'll figure out this system in due time. Am I getting flashbacks to an earlier Adam? intense was that a ship crashing or just like a what comet in there not okay. answering me no time for a nap pal just uh blacked out for a moment not sure what that was blacked out anything i should be concerned about this sounds serious no no uh, nothing of the sort it's just um memory loops or i don't know i haven't had them for a while a clone thing huh I think I heard something about that once. If it happens again, I want to know about it. We might need you to get examined. But for now, let's focus on our current needs and the base. All right, open perk menu and fix the reactor. Companion perks. Each companion comes with their own set of perks that can have multiple levels to unlock. Unlocking is done by fulfilling the requirements. Sometimes you'll just need to provide some simple resources. Other times you are also asked to accomplish certain tasks. Note that all resources you are investing in a perk cannot be retrieved, so always think about when and how much to invest. Okay. Repair the station reactor, restore power to all compartments, and unlock further perks. I mean, let's rumble. Uh, invest all materials. Ha! It worked! Never thought I'd miss this shabby place. Those Bloodstar idiots had me locked up for ages. What do they want from you? Well, what they want from everyone. Credits and information. Unfortunately for them, I don't share with outlaws. Anyway, this is where we're at right now. We've got lights, climate control, and access to scans of our vicinity. Can the scans help me navigate Superlight again? I can't fly blind forever. Good idea. We can't reconnect our navs, or the fleet would immediately locate our asses. But with these scans... Here, have a look. Cedo Outer Rim, Rhodia Orbit, and Union Bridge? That's as far as we can scan? 
It's far enough for now, at least what we need to do next. I need you to fly to all three locations and keep an eye out for little devices we like to call beanies. Beanies? That's short for beanbags. They're small DIY signal distractors and used to keep this base off enemy radars, but obviously they don't anymore. Sounds like a job for Ben. You need an engineer on this, not me. Why don't we focus on getting him fixed first? No time. We're lit like a bonfire. If we don't figure out what's wrong with the distractors now, we won't live long enough to save Ben. That's Tend a good the point. And make us vanish. That'll give us time to figure out what to do with your friend. All right, damn. They want me to go three different locations. So how does this work? Undiscovered site. <laughs> Seed outer rim, the edge of the universe. Is that? I guess that's the name of our mission right now. Seed outer rim. When the Okar blew up the mining planet. Uh, Palamon, pieces of crystal-rich planetary debris and state-of-the-art mining tech were scattered all across Cedo. Now, years later, even the once barren outer rim became attractive to prospectors, scavengers, and traders alike. Rodia Orbit. Many former uh, many former military stations are caught in the orbit of the ice dwarf Rodia. Some lie bare for scavengers to plunder. Others have been remodeled into strongholds by former soldiers who, long abandoned by their superiors, have teamed up into brutal outlaw gangs. And then Union Bridge. The bridge is the only known gate out of the remote Cedo system and connects it to the far busier Union system. During the war, colonial leadership had a large and expensive cannon installed that aimed at the gate in case of hostile entities flooding through. It never occurred to them that the Okar might have their own, far more versatile wormhole technology. Huh. Huh. Who the hell are the Okar? Okar Wars. With the first arrival of colonial mining interest in 3022, CE Sol, the Okar experienced a dramatic shift in how they perceived their relation to the universe, and how other civilizations could potentially encroach upon their homeworlds. The subsequent arrival of the colonial fleet and establishment of jump gates escalated tensions in the cluster, which eventually triggered all out warfare between the species. Equally matched in strength and sophistication, the Okar held their ground against the Colonials to devastating effect. A ceasefire was brokered out of necessity as there was no clear projected victor. The demilitarized zone was established as part of the subsequent peace treaty, delineating new limits of each of the species' territories, which the Okar were given the rights to administer. Okay. So the Okar are an alien species that I guess humanity was fighting at one point. Cloning. Cloning is the artificial replication of organic life forms, which humans have progressively started for centuries to the point of successfully being able to copy themselves. Still controversial for its wider implications, it is only practiced in a limited capacity in colonial controlled areas for the growth and storage of spare organs for the wealthiest individuals. Yeah, that makes sense. However, this technology was deployed during the Okar War in order to reduce the number of colonial fleet casualties on the front. Clone pilots were despised by the Okar and the other fleet personnel alike. And at the cessation of hostilities, it was stipulated in the peace treaty that cloning would be made illegal in perpetuity. There have been instances and evidence, however, of outlaw elements using cloning to provoke Okar anger, or to operate a black market in organs. Details of these occurrences remain vague. Alright. DMZ, upon arrival in Cluster 34 in the early 31st century, the colonial fleet's first encounter with the equally matched Okar race proved disastrous, leading to all-out conflict and widespread mutual destruction. This put an abrupt halt to unchecked colonial expansion for the first time since it began. The current uneasy peace is upheld by the imposition of a de demilitarized zone between the two factions, administered and patrolled by the Okar, the territory's prior claimants. Colonial mining operations are permitted to continue operations as part of the agreement. Cluster 34. Cluster 34, also known as the Belt of Grades, is the current limit of colonial expansion. First chartered in the 24th century, the first colonial unmanned exploration uh, vessels did not arrive until the 30th, to find the region rich in the resources required for terraforming in the home system. Early outposts constructed by mining concerns had limited contact with the indigenous Okar species, although hostilities later commenced with the arrival of the supporting colonial fleet. Today, the cluster is still resource-rich, but infrastructurally ravaged by the conflict with the Okar. The DMZ between Okar and colonial territories divides the cluster and maintains an uneasy peace. Whew. All right. Well, let's set up a map. Wait, hold on. Whoa, hold on. What perks can I get? Tractor beam. Increase the base tractor beam range to 800 meters. All right. Uh, cruise drive. Reduce the drive activation delay down certain increments. Cost credits. Crystal diodes and plasma. We don't have those. Uh, we can. Change it so that we pay only 70% for hull repairs, 70% for equipment repairs. 
And when below 30% of your max hull points, docking automatically repairs the hull up to that value for free. Wowee. Okay, well, I'm poor, so we just need to, like, actually go out there and, uh, get these missions done. I gather what I can while I'm out there, you know? All right. I was gonna say, I probably have to use the jump drive for this. Oh, take ourselves to the big overworld. Woo. I wonder if there are any places I can randomly discover by just flying around in the open world, or if it's all gonna have waypoints. I'm fine with that, if there's... Uh, things in the open world that I can... They're just gonna be marked for me. It's a big place out there, after all. Piece of gear, Marksman uh, Prime fine. Zapper. Don't encounter this too often. What is that? Uh, smart weaponry technology designed for minimal collateral damage requires more energy for more energized rounds. Hmm. Ah. Oh, curses! My level's too low. I was excited. Did I have any other loot around here? I guess not. All right. <laughs> We're level two. Oh, it gives a bunch of stat boosts. Level up. You reach a new level. Each new level increases your base stat structure, firepower, precision, utility, resistance, and expertise, which will give bonuses to your hit points, damage, repairs, etc. A detailed breakdown of these stats and their effects can be found on the ship screen. You have also received a device upgrade token, which can be used to upgrade any device to the next level. Wow. Okay, I gotta fucking get some distance. Holy shit. Wanna get fucking devoured by every single enemy we run into. Goodness. Bombing missiles. Is it like a free restock? No, uh, maybe not. Or maybe I have to like clip them? Oh okay, it's just a stack of 20 missiles! Dang! Slightly higher damage than my current home units. Hmm. Found one of your beanies. Looks like an asteroid bumped off half of its antennas. Maybe we're lucky and they got caught up somewhere. Okay, am I? Try running a hollow scan to simulate the crash. And what do you think I just did? Smart man. We still have to like hold F over here? No? Okay. So would that mean it went out this way? I'm not sure how the hollow thing works. There's one. If the joints are up for it, you don't have to be a quark mechanic to reattach them. Huh? Oh, here we go. I was about to go fight <laughs> some enemies, but yeah, well, since I'm over here, I should do this. Chris Parfit.
targets. Hey, I'm trying Whoa. to do some repair hey, work here. What the hell? I was leaving you all alone. And you're just gonna come out of nowhere and mess me up? Down one. Jerks? Jesus. I gotta I gotta go back. Alright. So it must have flown off in this direction. I'll save my boost because we're about to approach some enemies. Oh, there's the part. Wow. And there's the other one. Oh, what do you mean, well, that happened? Uh, what is this? Energy sphere socket. Is that something I... Energy sphere dispenser. Is this like a puzzle thing? <laughs> I have the... Energy sphere. Let's get this place powered up. Oh ho ho! Marksman corrosion missiles. 20% chance to refund ammo when firing. Vicious missiles designed to bypass shielding and disintegrate armor and hull over time. Wow. Yeah, give me that. What about this? Calibrated prime zapper. So what am I having right now? Pulse laser, auto cannon. I think I can equip one of these now. I'll equip these. And then I will equip this. Oh shit, I wasted my ability. Oh damn, that's actually a really long cooldown. I thought it was a 20 second cooldown for my EMP. It's 50. Damn, this thing's out of range of 1,700? Sheesh! First beanie's back online. Excellent. For a proper disappearing act, we need two more. Yeah, I'll work on it. First thing I'm gonna do, though, is uh, make sure to clear out this place that and is just look what around. Sheesh! Shit! Scrap, my hull integrity's getting low. Use some nanobots to try to make it to a nearby station. They'll patch you up there. Oh my god, I took so much damage from that missile! My damage now? Where the hell are these missiles coming from? Oh. There's gotta be a missile launcher over here. Something. It came from this direction. Yeah, here we go. Outlaw missile turret. Oh my Jesus! Ah! It didn't get my through. It didn't get through my shield. It didn't get through my shield. This is rough, holy shit! That's so crazy that they can lock onto me from the other side of the asteroid. Satisfaction in this. 
Everybody, welcome to the party. You want to fly over here and group up on me? Well, I've got tools for that. I am getting too used to nearly dying. Goodness, I wonder how much getting repaired actually costs. Give me those credits. Huh. Can I, like, see a map of the current area? I guess not. That's a shame. That would be useful. For situations like this, where I'm not really sure if, like, say, this structure has anything to it. There's no icons. So I'm guessing... No? It was just a place that shot missiles at me, the fuckers. I'm in a rough condition. And that missile turret was blasting! It just kept firing one after another, holy shit! I need to get this tractor beam upgraded. What the fuck? Gotta be more careful. Temporal Nano Recompensator. Restores 40% of ar armor damage taken in the last 12 seconds. Oh, wow. Memory Recalibrator, a rather simple gadget used to wipe a device's stored memory to allow alternate calibration routes. I don't know what that means necessarily. Device unlocked. Temporal Nano Recompensator. Mainframe component. You found your first mainframe, uh, mainframe component. A full stack of these can be converted to a mainframe expansion. Mainframe expansions can be used to enhance attributes like firepower, precision, structure, utility, resistance, and expertise. Beware that each enhancement on the same attribute costs more than the one before. I see. I'm not too worried about that right now. I'm just kind of gathering what I can for future us. Oh my god, this one's far. What do you mean, obstacle? Detected. The money I'm trying to gather? I certainly hope so. Oh shit. I was just about to leave, you know? And then they just came out swinging! Ooh, ship color. Snow. Meh. Alright, let's check out this asteroid over here. I'm trying to see what level of, like, exploration I should do in each place. Because so far, most things have been, like, marked. Oh yeah, see, look at this. Okay, so we, we flew over here, and we didn't have these on our, our UI until we, like, actually got within, like, a thousand meters. 
That is what I was worried about. So I should, like, if I see something off in the distance, I should fly to it to see if it, like, actually has an item. That's gonna be a little bit rough, because I'll very easily probably get lost in some of these places. Like, right now I'm just flying around a giant rock. But obviously I'm going to need things like these iron resources. Oh, the crystal deposits. Goodness. At least I don't have to worry about my primary weapon ammunition. I just blast away. got going on in here? I do really wish I had, like, a map of the area that I could, like, fill out and go, alright. <laughs> this particular ship is mined out. GMB fighter. I mean... Hey, everybody. Can I, like, trade with them, or are they just kind of chilling out over here? Can I be a pirate and just start blasting? I shouldn't. Yeah, well, that's the missile launcher facility, the first one, and that's the second. Ooh, cool. Wait, did I, did I see them warp in before? Cause I saw like a giant, like a line fly in. I assumed that was either something warping in or like a texture error. <laughs> but I didn't like get a marker for an enemy, so I, I didn't know like what was going on. But now, now I'm like, ah, oh, it could have been the GMB fellas. Oh my goodness. Interesting. That's real conflicting. So I guess there are structures I can just damage, but they aren't like marked as like a thing I can damage. That's gonna mess with me, but all right. Because I definitely destroyed this little thing by accident. And it erupted into so much loot. Whoa. Now I have to be super paranoid. Good God. <laughs> Good God. Every little structure, I just have to blast over and over again. Inside the shield generator area. Oh my god. There's so much stuff here, man. I was about to like leave. Alright, well. I need an energy sphere. <laughs> Thankfully, the only. <laughs> Energy sphere location we know of is permanently marked for us. Oh, shit. I was trying to take a drink of water, but that was so fast. So if I hold F to throw... 
Does it go faster than me? Will it eventually slow down? I want it back. Thank you. Maybe I'm supposed to find another energy sphere thing because this doesn't seem like I can do this. This is too far out. Please don't blow up. Okay. What the hell? Now I'm paranoid. I can't leave here until this energy sphere thing is completed. But like... I don't know what to do about it. Let, let's go over here real quick. Gotta look over these structures a little bit more. I hope I'm not screwing myself over. Like, it turns out I actually need these structures and I can capture them in the future, but whoopsie daisy, I blew them up! Because there was no indicator if I should or shouldn't. Alright. I guess we'll have to, uh... Try... I threw the energy? And I feel like that took away time on the sphere. Because the first time I had it, I had 40 seconds to travel with the energy. What the fuck are these? I'm assuming they're mines. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. What are the mines protecting? Could be nothing. Could just be literally like, oh, the mines are here because this is a destroyed ship. And they spilled out! Yeah, still really hoping I get some kind of indicator. Of like how much I have or haven't completed stuff in an area. So that way I don't end up losing out on uh, big pockets of loot in the future. All right. Oh shit! Enemies. They're four kilometers out, I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay, so I've got 40 seconds. We're not gonna throw it, just in case that actually, like, messes with it, but maybe I actually just legitimately... Hmm. I guess to be fair, I think my engine is damaged. Like, I don't know what that icon means at the top, the, with the yellow thing here. Booster damage, reduced efficiency. Yeah, that would, that would make it a problem. Damn. I mean, that did kind of help me a little bit. Uh, whew, I made it! Woo! Hey, look! A better booster! Can I equip it immediately? Yes, I can. And it's now repaired. Nice. Oh, damn. This is a pretty big upgrade. Well, I think we're relatively good to go. Let's take out these outlaws and then head back to uh, get some repairs.
Whoops! Didn't mean to do this! Okay, that went really poorly. I really need to upgrade my EMP because that 500 meters is so small. Let's get out of here. How did you ever end up in a place like this? Originally, I was stationed in the Ethan system as part of our rear guard subunit. We did some scouting missions, but really not much else. How many were you? Around 12. Some died, some became outlaws. Two pals and I got out before the war got really ugly. This is where we ended up. Feels like the edge of the universe. It isn't, but if you squint, you can see it from here. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how far we are from, like, Earth. Maybe when I'm in the home base we can, uh, check it out. Did these respawn or did I just not loot these before? 